What's happening guys, my name is Alex, welcome back to a brand new video and as you guys can see right now we have no Ultra Facts tutorial because I've been sick like for the last few days, like every time I swallow my throat hurts like crazy. I just could not pull off a video yesterday and today but I thought I'm not gonna let you guys down for four days because I don't upload in the weekends. So what I decided to do is I would try to show you guys the best viewed Vegas tutorials but for the people that don't have seen it yet, make sure to stick around this video, I don't know how long this video is going to be i'm going to include uh the videos the sony vegas tutorials with the best amount of views so i hope you guys enjoyed make sure to smash the like button down below and i'll be back on monday with a brand new vegas 15 tutorial because vegas 15 releases on august 28th so make sure to stay tuned thank you guys and i apologize for not putting out a video daily uh since wednesday so i want to thank you guys for our understanding thank you for the continued support and make sure to enjoy this video Hey guys, what's up? My name is Alex and awesome that you guys are watching Trinity's new Sony Vegas tutorial. It is Wednesday, it means a new video for you guys. And today I'm going to show you guys, as you may see in the thumbnail, I'm going to show you guys how to make uh, your footage look like a complete like Hollywood, like real actual movie. Uh, just using some simple uh, pan and crop and some color correction. So I would say let's get started. Alright, so as you can see, we're on the Vegas screen, of course. So the first thing is you want to do, you just want to drag in the video file that you want to edit. I'm going to do that right now. I found some like royalty free footage online um, so we're actually gonna edit that so as you can see just some regular stock footage some royalty free stuff and I'm gonna show you guys how to make this like scene look or like how to make any scene look like a complete like Hollywood movie just using some cropping and some some you know color correction so the first thing you want to do is, you know, all those movies have like those cinematic bars. Um, and if you don't want what I'm talking about, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So the first thing is, uh, you just want to click on this little icon which says Event Pan Crop. When you click that, this menu pops up and you want to make sure that at the left, those two icons are unchecked. The next thing you want to do is you just want to hold your mouse like on top of this. And you want to drag that down until you're happy with it. So as you can see at the right, I'll move it out of the way you will start to see that there will be appearing some black bars. So I'm gonna do that right now, as you can see. It is appearing, so I think this looks okay. Okay, so that's it for the uh, cinematic bars. As you can see, if I play it back, it looks pretty good already, but it's not gonna be, it needs like this, like this final touch and that is what, something we're gonna do with color correction. So now that we have the bars, um, you can actually choose how, like, how big they are uh, by, by just by dragging it, as you can see. You're gonna place it like this, close it out, and then you wanna go to color correction, over at the video effects tab and in the list you want to pick color corrector you want to drag that on top of the video track and then this menu pops up and you don't want to mess around with all those uh like those color mixers you want to leave that you just want to a uh pick a um like preset that's already in vegas for you just click on this little arrow that brings up this drop down menu and you want to pick red midtones you can click that it seems that it's like a legit hollywood uh, movie so you can mess around with different color correction types i'll play it back and you can ju just choose what kind of color correction you want to use i think this one is a really good one um, but also like this one is a good one um like this one you know this you can choose from the drop down menu as you can see you have, you have a lot of options but i would just choose a red midtones that actually looks pretty good so it actually looks better than than the, the footage before so let's let's have a comparison so let's drag that in so this was what we had first as you can see boom this one and we went from this to this and if you say like okay um a lot of trees are out of the out of the screen uh, you just go. You want to go go back to event pan crop. Keep this in the middle, and you just want to like drag that up or something like a little bit, so you want to see like more of the trees. That's so similar to this, guys. So, so if you want to see more of the Sony Vegas tutorials every Wednesday at 12 p.m. PST, that's 9 p.m. CET. Uh, feel free to subscribe down below, and if you find this video helpful, you make sure to smash that like button. And as always, I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope this video was helpful to you. So I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next Wednesday. So until then, I'll see you guys very soon. What's happening guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a new Sony Vegas tutorial. It's Wednesday, it's a new video. Actually, two new videos coming today. And basically, and basically today I'm going to show you guys how to add text on your video. And in the second video of today, in two hours from now, I'm going to show you guys how I made my 2050 intro. You know, this one.
So that's all coming up, and uh, make sure to smash the like button down below. So I would say let's get started. All right, guys. As you guys see, we are in Sony Vegas, and the first thing you want to do is also, I'm assuming that you guys already have a video, but you want to make sure that you have a video or like a clip um, to put text over, or you can just do it like with a back background. But uh, I'm just going to say, I'm just going to put the text on this little clip. This is just me, uh, my intro of my uh, After Effects tutorial that you guys have, you know, seen uh, two days ago on Monday. Next thing, actually, the first thing you want to do is you want to click on media generators like right here this one and actually right there in the list you want to pick um, titles and text and you want to drag that on top of your video track okay okay so the next thing what happens is you're gonna see the box that says sample text because we have not entered any text so I'm just gonna say I'm just gonna type in just Alex helper and as you guys can see it's actually way too big so double click on it then you select everything and I'm gonna make it like 35 that so it fits in the screen so that's actually how you add text but I think you know to make a good video you need to customize your text with some outline or some shadow. I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. So basically, um, you want, you want to see this box and you want to go to the bottom. You want to make this a little bit, you know, like this. Then what you want to do is you want to click on outline on this arrow. Then I'm just going to pick uh, a color. Let's say I'm just going to pick the outline. If you bring up this marker, you will start to see, you know, the outline on the, on, on the word. That's actually pretty cool. So you can choose uh, whatever outline you want. You can change it all colors you want, as you guys can see. Uh, so I'm just going to pick red. It looks cool. And then, you know, to add a little shadow as well to make it actually like coming loose from from your your clip go down really down and you can go back to and click on a shadow and then you want to you know make this a little bit longer and then when you do but the first thing you want to do is you want to click on this little check mark boom so the shadow is enabled and then what you want to do is you can mess around with those markers let's say if you want to put it like this and you want the same marker just copy this number go to this box paste it and press enter Boom. Here you can choose your blur amount, like if you want it blurry or like really tight. That's all up to you what you guys like. So basically, that's basically how you add text. Actually, that's how some of this guys is really easy. And now you can go ahead straight and straight and record, you know, straight away. Let's close this out. Let's say we want to have like a nice fade. You want to go to this little blue icon, as you can see this icon. And then what you want to do is you want to hold it and then you want to drag it. And as you can see how longer the line is, how, how slower it's going to fade. And you can make it really quick by making it really short. That's how some of this guys. I know it's so easy, but I know there's nothing more to tell you guys. So that was freaking amazing, guys. I want to thank you guys for watching thank you guys for the continued support thank you for liking and commenting on this video and uh, make sure to smash the like button down below also check out my channel in about two hours from now i'll be uploading again a, a second tutorial basically i'm gonna upload two videos a day so i want to thank you guys for watching thank you guys for you know all the support you guys gave me thank you guys and i'll see you guys tomorrow What's happening guys? My name is Alex and welcome to a new Sony Vegas tutorial. It is Wednesday's Mizuni video and today I'm going to show you guys something that is requested I think by a few people, I think it were two comments, asking me like how can I zoom in uh, on a specific part and how do you zoom in slowly and how you zoom out slowly. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So I would say let's jump right into it. Alright, so as you can see, um, I, I think the best um, kind of sort of clip to show you guys how to do it is actually a time lapse of a sunset. I downloaded a royalty free um, sunset time lapse and I just put some ambient music underneath it. So this is what I I'm gonna show you guys. This is what I made. This is the clip that I'm gonna show you guys how to zoom in. So actually, this is what I've created. So that is the clip I made to show you guys because I think it looks really good when you uh, zoom in and stuff on a uh, sunset time lapse. So the first thing you want to get started is you want to pick um, the place in your timeline where you want to zoom to start. So let's say I'm just going to start off with a zoom, just zoom in and zoom out and then slowly I just show that afterwards. Let's say you want to have a zoom right here. What you're going to do is you're going to press S. So those are uh, loose from each other but you're going to keep them together and then you want to pick the end of your zoom like how long it zooms let's say like this press s and this is actually your um frame that you're going to zoom with to make it zoom you're going to go to this icon which says event pan crop boom and then you see this uh, all those lines and this f in the middle so basically what you want to do if you want to zoom in always you want to make sure you have those two checked 
those two. If you uncheck it and you want to zoom, it's going to be like this. It's, it's not going to keep the aspect ratio. So what I'm going to do, just check mark those two. Boom, and then, then it stays in one ratio, as you can see. Let's say if you want to zoom in on this uh, on this cloud. So you want to make this square smaller, as you can see, and it's zooming up right here. As you guys can see, it is zooming, and you can zoom as much as you want. As you can see, it's really zoomed in. And if you say, like, I just want to zoom on this uh, cloud part, I'm just going to drag this one to here, like this. Boom. And then it looks like this. So that's basically how I always zoom in on specific parts, which I'm also doing in this tutorial, of course. And um, so let's move on to the zoom in uh, slow or fast or zoom in or out. So let's start off. You want to zoom in slowly. The next thing you also want to have this cut out, as you can see, you want to put your marker on the beginning, press on event pan crop. Then what you want to do is you want to use keyframes. And basically what that is, is you want to put the first keyframe right here and then you're gonna place a keyframe random i would say right here and then you want to zoom in on the part you want to have zoomed in so let's say we want to focus on this cloud as you can see this one let's see how it looks right now with the keyframe So it looks really good as you can see and you say like how can you make it zoom faster it's really simple though you click on this icon the closer this keyframe is to the beginning on this one the faster the zoom is so let's say you want to have a really really slow zoom you just want to put this one at the end let's see how slow it zooms right now i think you're going to barely see it but let's see how it looks So it looks pretty good. You actually see it pretty, pretty much. So just want to click on this back this icon and uh, you can always, uh, you know, move your keyframe. Of course, at the end, then basically you have zoomed in. So that's how you zoom in. And if you want to make a really quick zoom, just want to pick this keyframe, how closer it is to the beginning, how faster it zooms. So I'm going to put it like right here. Let's see how fast it zooms right now. As you guys saw it, it zooms in really, really quick. So that's basically how you zoom in. Basically to zoom out, you're just gonna reverse this part. So what we're gonna do is just gonna restore everything, remove all keyframes. What you want to do is you want to go to the end of the clip, click on this icon, event bank crop. The first thing you wanna do is at the beginning, you already want to put your, you already want to zoom in at the beginning, as you can see. So let's say we wanna, do like this and then just like a reverse you want to pl place a random keyframe and then you're just gonna zoom out again or just how it was you can just right click restore that's it and basically it all works the same if you put it closer it's gonna zoom out faster and let's see how we do it when it's like really long let's see how it looks That looks really good. So it works with keyframes. It's not that complicated. You just want to uh, put your uh, marker at the very beginning. So at the beginning, you just want to put your um, zoom where you want it at the beginning. And then you want to put your uh, keyframe random right here, like boom. And then you just want to zoom out, just click restore and that's your zoom out. And if you, if you want to have a really fast zoom out, you can just bring this keyframe down closer to the beginning. Let's see how that looks. So 
So that looks, that looks really good guys, so that's assembly this guys. If this went by too fast, just rewind the video, pause the video, do it at your own tempo. So thank you guys for watching and basically that's it for this video guys. If you want to see more of the Sony Vegas tutorials every Wednesday at 12 p.m. PST, make sure to subscribe down below. I want to thank you for the continued support. I wouldn't be doing this like all without you guys. So uh, thank you guys again and I'll see you guys um, next week Wednesday for a new Sony Vegas tutorial. Until then, I will see you guys very soon. Just Alex Halford.